This is Mrs. Edio with Ms. Morris Morris O'Hearn here at Lawndale High School walking you through our lab bag for the owl pellet lab. So inside the bag, ideally you would have some tweezers, some toothpicks, and a bone identification chart ready to go for each of your groups. The owl pellets are already sterilized. They're wrapped in the foil. If you don't have any dissection tools, toothpicks, forceps work perfectly fine, or they can just use their hands. You want to provide gloves for the students, a ruler to measure, and then once they've gone through and separated all the fur and dirt from the bones, you want to make sure you provide some tape and a file folder for them to create their project, their visual highlighting all of the bones they have discovered. And we recommend providing um, the option of using masks, especially for students that might have some sensitivities or allergies. And that is our owl pellet lab. And there is a chapter connection in Savas 3.3. There's an e-text on energy. And we hope this was owlifically helpful. Thank you.